Hello everyone. Welcome back to Snap Magic. Today, we're going to walk you through the process of enabling Windows Subsystem for Android WSA on your Windows computer. WSA allows you to run Android apps directly on your Windows device, bridging the gap between the two operating systems. Let's get started. Before we proceed, make sure your computer meets the system requirements for the Windows subsystem for Android. You'll need to be running at least Windows 11, 22H2 or higher, or Windows 10, 22H2 or higher. Memory, at least 8GB of RAM. CPU architecture, x64 or ARM64 processor, Intel Core i3 8th gen or later, AMD Ryzen 3000 or later, Qualcomm Snapdragon 8C or later, GPU, any compatible Intel, AMD, or NVIDIA GPU. Storage, a solid state drive with 10 gigabytes of free space on system drive C. Partition, WSA can only be installed on an NTFS partition. Other requirements, virtual machine platform enabled, Windows hypervisor platform enabled, must support virtualization and be enabled in the BIOS. Step 1 is to enable virtualization in your computer's BIOS settings. This is crucial for running Android apps within the virtualized environment. The process may vary depending on your computer's manufacturer. But here's a general guide. Restart your computer. During the boot-up process press the specified key to access your computer's BIOS settings. Usually escape. Delete F2 or F10. Look for the virtualization option. Sometimes called Intel VTX. VTD or AMDV in the BIOS settings. Enable the virtualization feature if it's disabled. Save your changes and exit the BIOS. Step 2 is enabling the Windows features. Open Windows Search and search for features. Click on Turn Windows Features on or off. Scroll down and enable the Windows subsystem for Linux, Windows Hypervisor Platform, and Virtual Machine Platform. Click OK. Click on Restart Now. After restarting the computer, search for Group Policy and open. Click on Administrative Templates. Then click on Windows Components. Scroll down and open Windows PowerShell. Turn on Script Execution. Click Enable, and in the Execution Policy drop-down, select Allow All Scripts. Then click Apply and OK. Now open the GitHub link from the description. Scroll down, and you will find the latest release for the Windows subsystem for Android. Download the latest release. Once the download is complete, go to Downloads and unzip the files. Now open the Unzip WSA folder. Right-click on the installer script and run it with PowerShell. Click Yes. It will take a few minutes to complete the process. Click Continue. Great! We're at the final step. Sign in with your Google account. And there you have it! The Windows subsystem for Android is now enabled on your Windows computer, allowing you to enjoy Android apps right alongside your traditional Windows applications. Thanks for watching! Please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.